Okay, so now we'll want to talk about the bell siphon. The first thing, now that you've got your bulkhead here, is you'll want to have an upstand. Um, and you can cut this to be whatever height you like best. Uh, I've cut a three quarter inch pipe to five and a half inches tall. And then on top of that, I'm going to have a slip to female threaded coupling and a male threaded to female, sl uh, well, to slip uh, coupling or adapter. If you can get a one inch slip to three quarter inch uh, male threaded, that's even better. And what that'll do for you uh, is you'll get kind of a funnel effect as the flow's going down inside there. And that will help start the siphon uh, better. So you can see when all these things are added up, they come to about eh, 10 inches, give or take. Now, this is the upstand. Now I want my bell. And what my bell is here, it's a two inch piece of pipe. And at the bottom, I've used a miter saw and I've just cut uh, lines on either side. The top line is going to determine how how deep is your bed going to drain um, because it's the air rushing in through that top line that's going to break the siphon. And once the siphon's broken, it won't drain anymore. It's nice to have about an inch or so of just water in the bottom. Two things about that. One is, uh, say, say your pump turns off. That way you always have a little bit of water in the bottom to keep your plants going. Um, and just, it, it makes for a nice base for your system. That goes on top, and you'll see before I put the cap on, how there's plenty of room around that upstand for the flow to get around. Then we just put a cap on, and oh by the way, I had cut this to be 10 inches in length, so so I guess that upstand with the five and a half inch uh, piece of vertical pipe stands to nine and a half inches. Anyway, now we're going to put on this um, two inch cap. So let me take this over here and just shove down solid. It'll be really hard to get that off. And that should be enough. You shouldn't have to put any kind of goop on here to make that airtight. It should be plenty airtight the way it is right there. Now. That would work just fine, but if you ever needed to pull this up and inspect it, or if you had any concerns about this area here getting clogged, it's always nice to have a media guard, as they call them. I made this out of a three inch piece of pipe, and it is, I forget how long this is. Uh, maybe that's also 10 inches. No, that's taller, so maybe that's 11 inches. And as you can see, what I've done is about every inch or so, I've cut a slice about halfway through, and I've just uh, rotated them around. And what that'll do is it'll allow the water to get in and out easily, and you're not going to have any of these get clogged. And it's much easier to make one of these than to make the ones you might have seen where they've got drills, drill holes all over the place, much faster. And what'll happen with that then is as you have all your rocks in here, if you need to get in and play with your bell and your siphon, say, say you have roots growing up in here, then you can just use a hook, a piece of bent wire, I like crochet hooks, pull this off, make sure what's happening. If you do have anything, you can get in here with something, clean it out, and you'll be good to go. All right, so that's the bell siphon.